Welcome on board Virgin Trains. We'll be travelling to Glasgow Central. So, this was it. The West Highland Way. A 100 mile long hike through some of Scotland's most breathtaking scenery. My favourite country in the world. A personal bucket list experience. And I had a real black and white idea of what lay ahead of me. Little did I know, however, as I took my first few steps through Glasgow's north, the true and genuine and raw experiences that lay ahead. The challenges, the friendships and the highs and the lows. I want to share with you all one of the best weeks of my entire life. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and this is it. This is the adventure that I mentioned in last week's video, the big adventure, the West Highland Way. And let me tell you, I am absolutely buzzing. You know, this is, this is bucket list stuff. Like I said on my Instagram, um, so excited. And for anybody that doesn't know what the West Highland Way is, let me tell you very briefly, it is a multi-day hike here in the wonderful country of Scotland and I'm doing it in about seven days and it starts just north of the city of, uh, city of Glasgow which is Scotland's biggest city and then um, you head north for approximately 100 miles until you hit a town called Fort William and of course there's some pretty decent views in between so I've got my big bag there's going to be a lot of camping a bit of wild camping a um, bit of camping at campsites and actually a hostel as well slap bang in the middle which is ideal um, and of course some landscape photography goes without saying and yeah incredible so far I'm on the first section of the hike I'm not really planning to do any photography um, I just want to get to my first campsite and get set up and um, the weather has been massively changeable so <sighs> the waterproofs have been on and off the fleece has been on and off I feel like I keep changing my outfit but absolutely epic <sighs> without further ado Let's crack on. All alone, the internet, but you don't seem to forget about you. The first day from Mall Guide to Dremen which will be my first camp of the West Highland Way, was admittedly a little underwhelming. The countryside was pretty, but consisted mostly of farmland and the occasional hamlet. And the weather was incredibly changeable. And the rain jacket was on and off several times. Although not hugely inspiring, it was a nice way to ease into a walk that would later be extremely challenging at times and much beauty could be found in the intimate landscape. I arrived at my camp nice and early, giving myself enough time to... Day number two. Of course, it was raining. It's the Scottish summer after all. Well, when in Rome, I thought, I headed to the local pub for some breakfast and continued toward Loch Lomond and enjoyed watching the Glasgow Derby on my phone with views of the lurking Scottish Highlands. So, day two guys of the West Highland Way and oh today's been so much better let me just get straight into that and um day one you know i didn't really expect it to be amazing you're starting out from glasgow and you're basically walking through like i said farmland and it's not particularly ex exciting you can see a few of these mountains in the background from the first day but uh, it's not very inspiring so i'd probably say it was a little bit of an anti-climax even though i expected it if that makes sense and on top of that 
sorry to be so negative by the way I'm just trying to give you an honest account um, on top of that it was quite busy on day one which isn't something that I'd read anywhere or anybody warned me perhaps it's got busier over the last few years but of course you're starting out from there people are getting off the trains and the coaches and stuff and it takes a while for the the crowds or whatever to disperse and split apart but today has been much better on that front um, another thing that nobody told me as well um, is that it's quite social I don't know perhaps I should have just expected that and I kind of came here wanting the solitude and the isolation but I find, found myself actually quite enjoying the social side of things where I camped last night I met two wonderful people and it was great to just chat to them about their experiences and stuff pretty much every time you sit and stop for a coffee people say hello or people might even sit next to you and chat away but it's awesome because there's people from all over the world doing this West Highland Way so you meet some um, awesome people so that's fantastic anyway yeah day two I've come up and over um, Conic Hill which has been just unreal like it's been such a wonderful introduction to almost getting towards the highlands and we've got Loch Lomond down here in the background absolute quality so I'm going to take my first photograph I think we're in the middle of the day it's pretty windy uh, obviously the lights really really harsh but I don't care you know I'm not bothered uh, I've got a little bit of an idea for a creative photograph as, uh, as well here so I'm going to get myself set up right here <laughs> So it is just awesome to get my camera out finally after what must be what at this stage 10 hours worth of hiking since I got off the train um, which is pretty good going you know I've got it out I've still got another five days here so um, yeah but delighted either way to actually have it out because I've been carrying the bloody thing all this way and it's been killing my shoulders he's out now right anyway um, happy with the shot I think it's going to be good bearing in mind it's the middle of the day now Firstly, what I will say is I've left my 11 to 16 f 2.8 Takina wide angle lens at home just to save weight. In comparison to my 18 to 55 and my 55 to 200 lenses, it's really heavy. It's probably um, it's probably the same weight as these two lenses combined. Um, so yeah, just to save a bit of weight. Also, I think my 18 to 55, even on this crop sensor camera, is is enough um, of a wide angle to shoot at nine times out of ten so it's only a really small sacrifice i think anyway i'm not using my 18 to 55 lens that was the plan what i wanted to do was stick that on the front get 16 stops worth of nd filters on in front of that lens and just shoot a big long exposure of this beautiful scene which i think would have been nice however it was a little bit too windy so instead i decided to stick the 55 to 200 lens on and i'm currently shooting at 135 mil now i'm doing that because all around us here is like i mentioned earlier harsh light you know it's the middle of the day very difficult conditions to work with however in the background there, looking right down the throat of Glen Orkey and the Grampian Mountains I think we've got Ben Louie there in the distance we've got Ben Lomond on the right beautiful scene but what what is drawing me to want to photograph that is the clouds and the conditions over there it looks like it might be raining um, through into them glens absolutely fantastic so I'm trying to just make the most of that so yeah shooting at 135 mil so i'm zoomed in um, pretty tight on that scene back there and what we're getting here guys is layers we've got this this one this first sort of layer here of um all this sort of wooded hill all, all these wooded hills off into the background over loch lomond into them glens absolutely absolutely fantastic but even when we get into them glens we're getting layer upon layer i think we've got three or four you'll see it when you see the image of different peaks and it's oh it's just phenomenal um iso 100 f9 one two hundredth of a second like i mentioned it is quite windy so i'm going to trying to get a quick shutter speed i don't i don't need to do anything creative here so that's working fantastically um but yeah i think this is going to be a, a nice little first image to start the west highland way another thing that i really like about it is we're looking right down the throat of exactly where i'm going to be hiking along the west highland way um right into them glens down the eastern shore of loch lomond which is fantastic um, so yeah, all in all, a, a first shot to be proud of.
After descending Conic Hill into a beautiful fairy tale pine woodland, I enjoyed some food at the shores of Loch Lomond and continued to my second camp of the trip. A wild camp next to, you guessed it, Loch Lomond. So thank you very much for watching this week guys. Tune in next week for part two of my West Highland Way trip. Out.